Los Angeles is home to some pretty impressive pieces of real estate, but the one we're about to explore, coincidentally also called The One, is so lavish, so extravagant, and so mind-blowingly expensive, it puts all other mansions to shame. Just to give you an idea, The One is so expensive that whoever falls in love with it will have to have a liquidity amount roughly the same as the GDP of some small countries. That's next level, right? Basically, this property puts most mansions in Billionaire Bunker to shame. With its 21 bedrooms, 5 pools, a bowling alley, 40 seat movie theater, and 30 car plus garage to name only a few. The One is situated in Los Angeles' exclusive Bel Air district and once sold will become the most expensive listing in the US with a 295 million US dollar asking price. Of course, there are some who doubt the property will fetch the owner's full asking price, but even if it sells for half of its listing, it will still be incredibly pricey. The only other private home out there to top the one is the 2 billion US dollar home called Antilia. Built in Mumbai, it belongs to Mukesh Ambani. Bel Air is home to some of the wealthiest celebrities in the US entertainment industry. Giants such as Beyonce and Jay-Z, Phil Collins, Jennifer Aniston, and Jennifer Lawrence. But even these celebs wouldn't be able to afford to buy the one. Unless, of course, they all pull together and set up some sort of timeshare arrangement. The one is being marketed as the first and only residence of its size in Los Angeles, thanks to new regulations passed in the city during its development that now limit the size of single-family homes to reduce the number of so-called mega-mansions being developed. What exactly is it that makes The One so expensive? Well, its location has a lot to do with it. From its elevated perch, the home boasts 360-degree ocean and alpine views as well as spectacular views of downtown Los Angeles. Construction took about a decade, and it is probably the last home of its size to have been built, thanks to new regulations passed in the city during its development that now limit the size of single-family homes a move that was aimed at reducing the number of so-called mega-mansions being developed. But it's also because of what the home has to offer, the finishes that it boasts, and the fact that it's so exclusive. So exclusive, in fact, that only 1% of the world's population are in a position to buy it. Currently, there are about 3,700 billionaires in the world, and they are being targeted as possible clients. The one is set to go on auction in February 2022 and only those at the very top of their game will be able to qualify for a bid or two. The 295 million US dollar price tag literally includes happiness because this mansion has it all. It has everything you can dream of and more. The 105,000 square foot compound that's more than double the size of the White House features an impressive 21 bedrooms, seven half bathrooms, and a jaw-dropping 42 full bathrooms. That's two full bathrooms per room. The property sits on 3.8 acres of land. Entertainment-wise, the mansion has so much to offer that whoever buys it will definitely save a ton of money just by staying in for all their leisure activities. On Friday afternoons, they can have some fun in the bowling alley. On Saturday nights, they can hit the club, complete with a VIP area. And on Sunday nights, they can sit back and relax in any one of the 40 seats of the home's massive home theater. During the week, residents can take it easy on the putting green. Plus, there's no need to go out looking even a little less than perfect seeing that the mansion is equipped with its very own full-service hair salon and wellness spa. Although, with amenities such as these, who would even want to leave the house? When they absolutely have to go out though, they can choose between what we'd assume would be a mesmerizing car collection, seeing that the garage has space for 30 plus cars. Impressed yet? Just wait till you hear about the rest of the features. But before we tell you more, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Before we head inside for a detailed look at every inch of this mega mansion, let's take a look at what you'll find outside on the grounds. We've already told you about the putting green, but if that's not your idea of relaxation, then maybe looking up at the night sky from the 10,000 square foot sky deck is more your thing. We're pretty sure a cocktail can be arranged, or perhaps a game of tennis on the property's own tennis court or a run on the private running track. How about taking your pick at any one of the five swimming pools, four of which are outside, and no, that's not counting the ones situated next to the guest house. 
we'll tell you more about the guest house in just a bit. One of the two main outdoor pools sits neatly on the rooftop of a 4,000 square foot bedroom. Another serves as a floating lounge because that's exactly what a billionaire needs. We mean, can you think of a better way to relax at the end of a long day of conquering the business world? The fourth outdoor pool is situated above the nightclub. We'll tell you more about the fifth pool, the indoor one, a little bit later. Trust us, you're not going to want to miss it. While the one is an ultra-modern home, its developer, Niall Niami, took a bit of inspiration from centuries past with a moat surrounding three sides of the property. He also had several one-of-a-kind statues commissioned for the home, with one designed by Italian glassmaker Simone Senadese situated outside and another in the mansion's foyer. Why isn't he living in the home himself? It's a little bit of a touchy subject. According to court documents, Niami defaulted on more than 100 million in loans and debt. This led to the home being placed in a court-ordered receivership for complicated real estate deals, an alternative to foreclosure to pay its debts. Though we're sure he won't be going home completely empty-handed at the end of the day. As for the one's interior, hang on to your seats. Your mind is about to be blown. In the main dining room, the home's new owner will find a 10,000 bottle wine cellar. Another reason only billionaires will be able to afford this space. Can you imagine stocking it from scratch? As mentioned earlier, the one is equipped with more than a few leisurely activity spaces. For instance, right next to the four-lane bowling alley stocked with all necessities, there is an entertainment common room complete with a bar and cigar lounge. As for the master bedroom, let's just say it's like no other master bedroom you've ever seen before. It covers an area of 5,500 square feet. That's more than double the size of the average American home in case you needed a little bit of perspective. It also has a stunning walk-in closet with plenty of space for clothes, shoes, handbags, and other accessories. It's something straight out of any billionaire wife's dreams. Another beautiful room in this mega mansion is the library. It's an enormous room with ceilings so high they cover two stories. And yes, the shelves go all the way to the top. Here, the new owner can pick a book and read it while lounging in one of the incredibly comfy chairs or they might prefer to sit outside on the room's very own balcony. The possibilities within the one truly are endless. Remember that indoor pool we hinted at earlier? It's breathtaking to say the least. The indoor pool area's ceilings are covered in mirrors and the room has a luscious living wall. We bet this is what paradise must feel like. The one also has its own, almost as impressive as the main home, guest house. Perhaps the developer had a less than favorable relationship with his mother-in-law? Because really, we can't see any other use for it. Just like the mansion itself, the guest house has floor-to-wall windows, three bedrooms, and its own pool. It really should come as no surprise that originally, the one's value was estimated at 500 million US dollars. And still, there are billionaires out there who could easily have been able to afford it. In case you're interested, the one is set to go up on auction via concierge auctions. 